In this video, I'm going to show you how to use background sources so you can get a better idea of your topic so that you can narrow your search. So in the example that I'm using in these videos, I'm going to research the traditions of the Byzantine icon and the period of iconoclasm, which I got from the assignment. Now, I don't know that much about art history, and so I have to start somewhere so I can get enough information so I can even understand the topic I've chosen. So I need to find out what a Byzantine icon is and also what the iconoclasm period was related to Byzantium. And I'm going to say the first place you should look is your textbook for the class. The way you're going to use this is you'll go back into the index and then you're going to see chapters on your topic. And for my topic, I'm pretty lucky. The entire chapter 9 is called Rome in the East and it's all about Byzantium. And so what I'll do now before I do anything else is skim through this chapter to see if I can understand what an icon is and what the period of iconoclasm is. So I was really lucky. In the book, there was actually a couple of pages that were all about just um, icons and iconoclasm. Um, so I have a better understanding of what that was, and that was just that people were against the use of icons for a certain period in Byzantine history. And so now I have a better idea of what I want to look for, but I need a little more background information, maybe a little more about um, the icons themselves and, and how they were used. And so to do that, I'm going to use one of our research databases to look at an e-encyclopedia, because you guys are in an online class. So to get there, I'm just going to click on Research Databases. Then I'm going to click Databases by Subject, and I can see that the art databases are at the top. The one that I'm going to use right now is Oxford Art Online. So I just click it. Um, when you're at home, at this point, you'll be asked for your Cerritos College login, and that is your username and password, the same thing you use for TalonNet. So I'm going to do a quick search in this database, and I'm going to search for just Icon Byzantine and icon, right? And the search might look a little funny to you. I have the and there because I'm making a keyword search. I'm telling the, the search engine in the database, only bring me back articles that talk about the Byzantine era and icons. And I get some results back. This first one looks pretty promising, so I'm going to click on it. Right, And so it's giving me some more background information on icons, um, how they were developed and used. Right. When I'm reading this, I can get an idea of some of the important people and some of the eras. And I could decide that when I write my final paper, I want to focus on a certain person, on a certain time period. Or I could decide that I want to focus on a specific, a specific work of art or um, some kind of theme in the art. And in this database, too, when they have images, you can click on the image and enlarge it. Right? And what's great about the database is it tells you where the image came from with this stuff right here. Um, if you want to keep this information, you can print it, you can email it to yourself, and it will even tell you how to cite it. And so this is a really good place to go if you don't know a lot about your topic, because um, it can help you quickly get an overview, especially if you don't understand everything in the book. This is another point of view you could consult. 